Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I'm saying that it refers to Christ and the church. Symbols, shadows, parables. Sometimes this is about that. Flowers are about love. Signatures are about promises. Fireworks are about celebrations. Poppies are about war. And marriage is about the Christian gospel. This mystery is profound, says Paul, and I'm saying that it refers to Christ and the church. So the wedding begins with the groom waiting at the front. He has pursued his bride and won her, and now he just has to wait. And when she eventually comes in, the whole room stands and stares at her beauty, her immaculate dress, pure and white and spotless. She gets presented to him and they declare that they have no other partners. They hold hands. They make promises to have and to hold for better, for worse, forsaking all others as long as we both shall live. They exchange rings, signs of the covenant promises they have just made. They sign their names and make their vows legal. Then, as the ceremony concludes, they walk back out again, united as one. Everything he has is hers, and everything she has is his. Everybody celebrates with a meal. Later, they will express their physical union and share all of their possessions. She even takes on his name. Two have become one, and all this is about that. Jesus has made his people ready his death for our sins has made us beautiful, pure, white, and spotless. We are given to him and to nobody else. We make promises to each other. Never will I leave you or abandon you, says Jesus, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. And we reply to him, I will forsake all other gods as long as we both shall live. There is an exchange of gifts. God gives us his spirit. There is a legal declaration. God says we are righteous in his sight. We walk on, united as one. Everything he has, his love, his power, his goodness, becomes ours. And everything we have, our sin, our shame, our past, becomes his. Everybody celebrates with a meal, bread and wine. We express our physical union through baptism in water. We give him access to all our possessions. We even take on his name and his identity, we become Christians. Two have become one. This is about that.